count your days, Vermin. He pops it down now because he feels as though he's going to be pressured and it's the right feeling. They've got to dig him it's out of this position. The wall block. Oh my god. Is that seven head? Welcome to the Headshot, the show where we get you caught up to speed on all the latest from the Valorant Champions Tour. Let's get it started with a look at some of this week's best moments from the Challengers events across the globe. Trying to catch him with that wonderful oh. flick onto Aya oh, oh, for through the scope chow. Get, try to get that 3k, goes for the sheriff, 9 health. Try to get it, he's gonna get it, oh, he gets it! Yeah, good job! Yeah, paranoia is good, Kamada. Mitty! Mitty! Yeah, masaka. Mitty! Mitty! But the Delevine, in the lecture, he takes another one, Delevine! Sensacional! E ele tá querendo mais! Garante a terceira eliminação! Olha o Demo que vai aprontando! Puxou a tormenta, Delevine! And though it's Shazam who lights up the kill feed! But Shazam continues to move forward! A 3v2 as Envy try to close it out off the back end of a 4k from Shazam! Por isso, um pouco, queda um uno em contra de três. Escuta, escuta, escuta! Um, dois, três! 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 Zeke, nice little tap. He's got 1v3. Uh, but, oh, come on, Zeke, what? He's got three headshot after headshot. Eight, eight bullets left. Player behind him. He has no idea. Surely not. Come on. Zeke's got it with a 4k. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now let's head to Brazil to hear from Team Viking Ceci on his experience playing in the VCT so far. Meu nome é Gustavo Rossi, sou mais conhecido como Saci. Joguei LoL profissionalmente aí por 5, 6 anos e agora estou fazendo minha migração aí, a minha carreira para jogar Valorant profissionalmente. Eu joguei MOBA, fiz minha carreira lá, mas FPS eu, eu cresci jogando, então ter essa oportunidade de jogar um FPS que é controlado pela Riot, né? É para mim é, é uma grande honra. Toda a experiência que eu tive com, com League of Legends, eu tô utilizando aqui no, no Valorant. É, obviamente, o, o, a modalidade é diferente, né? Eu saí do MOBA para FPS, mas os conceitos de estudar o jogo, a maneira como é que eu lido nos treinos, né? A nossa, a nossa rotina, eu acho que tudo veio do LoL em si, né? Porque é um esporte eletrônico de qualquer jeito. Então, eu tô conseguindo aplicar muito bem aqui dentro do Valorant. Minha arma favorita, assim, no jogo hoje é a Odin. Mas isso é por conta do meu, do meu main agente, né? Que é o Sova. Eu consigo explotar a galera, eu consigo varar. E a Odin ela é uma arma muito chata de jogar contra. Então eu acredito que a galera não goste, não, não goste muito de jogar contra mim com essa arma. A dica que eu dou pra galera que quer jogar com essa arma, eu acho que tem que. Principalmente se você for main sova, é muito mais fácil, né? Main sova, ou o, o Cypher também, que consegue explotar o, o, com o fio atrás das paredes e tal. Pra conseguir ter uma vantagem a mais aí pra quando você for varar a galera. Next. Let's take a look at the current standings from last weekend's tournaments. Challengers Europe Week 2 ended with four teams coming out on top. Alliance, Ninjas in Pajamas, FPX, and Team Heretics. This was the first major placement for Alliance who have only been competing together for less than a month. Former First Strike champions Team Heretics also had a notable performance. After getting eliminated early on in Week 1 Open Qualifiers, they bounced back and took the win over some fierce competition including OG, the team formerly known as Monkey My Business. Oh, what? Over in Korea, the playing field might have finally started to level. Vision Strikers are technically still undefeated in the region, but for the first time ever they ended their weekend with two ties, against both ZF Gaming and New Turn Gaming. Vision Strikers remain on top, but other teams in the region are quickly starting to catch up. Stay tuned to see how long RB and his squad can keep the undefeated dream alive. Not too far away, Challengers Japan kicked off their first event. In the end, Reject, First Gaming, Absolute Jupiter and FAV Gaming qualified into Challengers Week 2. Reject were back with a vengeance after their third place finish at First Strike. They had a dominant performance in Group A, ending the event with a perfect 3-0 record and eliminating Blackbird Ignis who defeated them back in the First Strike semifinals. Could Reject be the next big thing in Japan? 
tune in to Challengers Week 2 to find out. Challengers Brazil Week 2 came to a close with Gamelanders, Vorax, Furia, and Team Vikings on top. This was a significant win for Vorax as they have been fighting to reclaim their throne as one of Brazil's top teams. After a dominant year in 2020, they were forced to withdraw from first strike due to complications from the ongoing global pandemic and have since struggled to find their former glory. Despite it all, Vorax are back on top and will advance into Masters alongside their longtime rivals, Gamelanders. Mas a paranoia agora o Joe vai esperando a movimentação do Manto Sombrio. Pega o primeiro abate, vai levando o segundo e sobrevive. Não vai dar tempo de plantar o Leon encontrado. Competition in Challengers NA Week 2 was delayed due to natural disasters that occurred in some parts of the region. As of the time of writing this video, the brackets aren't complete. Check out our social channels for the final results from Week 2 main event. Silva Beast Silva, the man in the mirror. Recon bolt over. Don't know what he goes working with. The spray, the swing, the clutch! Over in Latin America, open qualifiers were held for Challengers Week 3. Here's the teams that made it out in both sides of the region. Open qualifiers for Challengers 2 were also held in Southeast Asia. Here are the teams that made it into the main event in each part of the region. In the Philippines, Challengers Week 2 main event came to a close with Bren Esports once again taking the crown. Now let's check in on our VCT first class. After a long break, the tactician Laz returns to the stage with his team, Absolute Jupiter. Since the early days of Valorant, Laz and his team have been one of the most dominant forces in Japan, winning almost every event in Japan's Ignition series and ultimately becoming first strike champions. Throughout all that, Laz became known for his uniquely aggressive cypher play, often top fragging and carrying his team to success as a sentinel. The electric play style of Absolute Jupiter was in full force this past weekend at Challengers Japan Week 1 led by Laz's clever playmaking and anchored by their notorious in-game leader, Rada. Laz put up some massive numbers throughout the weekend, especially in his match against Lag Gaming, where he achieved a peak average combat score of 303 and an average damage per round of 180. If you enjoy watching creative teams with a wild, aggressive playstyle, be sure to check out Laz and the rest of Absolute Jupiter as they continue to battle their way through Challengers Japan this weekend. The road to the first VCT Masters event is well underway. Let's take a look at how things are shaping up. Each region's Masters event will be made up of eight teams in total. The top four teams from Challengers Week 2 main events and the top four from Week 3 main events. These eight teams will compete for the title of the first ever Masters of their regions and also get one step closer to qualifying for the pinnacle global event of the VCT, Valorant Champions. A number of regions across the globe have now completed their Challengers Week 2 main events, locking in the first four teams for their Masters events. Sozinho no mundo, mas não dá pra trocar com o Pixen hoje, a Vorex! These teams can now sit back and relax while the rest of their region fights through the Challengers Week 3 to claim the four remaining spots. Here are your qualified teams so far in North America. Teams like Luminosity, Hunter Thieves, and Gen G made it close, but have yet to qualify. Keep an eye out for their return in Challengers Week 3. Over in Europe, these four teams have qualified into Masters. Fan favorites G2 and other top teams like OG, Fnatic, and Wave Esports have yet to make the cut. What? It's no surprise the undefeated Vision Strikers have qualified in Korea, but you may be surprised to see some other major names in the region missing from the list. Damwon Kia and World Game Star fell short of expectations in Week 2, so they'll have to try again in the next Challengers event. Here are the teams that have qualified so far in Brazil. Sacy and the rest of Team Vikings have been putting in work, stepping up their game and cementing themselves as one of the new top teams in the region. Lastly, in Latin America, here are the first qualified teams from both halves of the region. LATAM North and South will compete in their own Masters events in March. Keep an eye on our socials for scheduling updates on all upcoming Masters competitions. Who else will make the cut into Masters from your region? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the action. Thanks for watching The Headshot. For upcoming matches and schedules, check out ValorantEsports.com. We'll see you next week for more updates on all things Valorant Champions Tour.